Speaking for Classic Concentration, a Mark Goodson television production. The eight, eight bag. If you call it right, keep doing that. And it's good news tonight on Cut Charts. And here's the host of Cut Charts, Jim Perry. Thank you, Hi, thank you very much. Welcome to Cut Charts. We're happy to have you here. Gene Wood, thank you very much. And the opening poem sent in by gentleman who has sent in a few poems to us. We're very grateful to Lyle B. McGlenn of Fort Pierce, Florida, watching us on WPTV Channel 5. Thank you, Lyle. Now let's open up the board and get to the cards. <laughs> Janice and Melinda, if you will, we'll try to get the cards and we'll meet our card charge. Jesse Bowen, our champion. Hi, Jesse. How you doing? Good. Won't you again remind us about yourself? My name's J.C. Bowen. I live at Bakersfield. I'm retired, and I just got back from Texas about a month ago uh, to visit my mother on her 100th birthday. And oh, we wow. had a ball. That's true. She's lived in this one town, Snyder, Texas, since 1929. She's been there 51 years, and she knows hundreds and hundreds of people. Everybody calls her Granny. And she, up until about five years ago, she was real active. Everywhere she went, she was a... Life of the party, just like I try to be. That's great. What's your name? Bowen. Bowen? No, what's your first name? Eula. E-U-L-A. And she got a card from the president on her 100th birthday. Well, I hate that. I I'm not trying to top the president, but Eula, happy birthday. We're delighted for you, love. And Thank Jesse, you. we're delighted for you. You won $4,800 in cash. That makes me feel real good. Thank and you. our challenger, Pauline Polis. Hi, Pauline. Nice to see you again. And Thank a little you. reminder about yourself. My name is Pauline Polis. I'm a flight attendant for a major airline. I'll start my 10th year in May. Love racquetball, aerobic dancing, running, and I'm an excellent seamstress. I'm still single, and I'm a great cook. Oh, I know. Friends, oh, I want more. Now this lovely lady, an excellent seamstress and a good great cook, cook, is single. Are there no fellows out there? No cavalier? Well, I have one. Oh, you have one. Oh, well, that's. Good. I gotta ask you. We had a question a while ago, uh, for um, airline stewardesses. Yes. Do men pinch? No, but I'd bop them one right in the nose if they ever did. Oh, you would? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline, nice to have you back. You both got the cards at the beginning of the I match. I did. And here we go. We will start, and we'll take a look at the board. We're in the middle of game number one. Jesse's moved over, now has a nine as his base card, needing three cards. Pauline has uncovered a jack. She needs four. We pick up with question three, and it goes to you, Jesse. Jesse, we asked 100 housewives. Have you ever complained to your husband? Listen to this line. Housewives, have you ever complained to your husband? All I am around here is a maid. How many housewives have complained to their husband, all I am around here is a maid, Jesse? Well, uh, I've been married for a number of years, and I, my wife said a lot of things. She's never said that. But I believe there is some complaining to it. I'm going to say it's going to be about 45. 45 out of 100 have said all I am around here is a maid, Pauline. Okay. Housewives have a hard job. I mean, they really work hard at home, and I don't think they're appreciated as much as they should be. So I'm going to say it's going to be higher. Say higher. Yes, you figure that sir. line comes up more often. If it's higher, Pauline, you'll play your cards. If not, Jesse plays his. The actual number of housewives who've complained to their husband, all I am around here is a maid, is 70. Oh, wow, is it higher? Oh, okay, high. now, I'm going to... We left off with a jack. Okay. I'm going to keep that card, and I'm going to go lower. She says lower than the jack. Yes, the six. Six. Um... I'm, I'm going to freeze on that. You'll freeze it. We move over the freeze bar. Protecting that position, we have a tie. Each player needs three cards. And this is sudden death. Someone has to win the game on this play of the cards. Now here's, here's a question about something that's been in the papers. We asked 100 people, does a magazine, this goes to you, Pauline, 100 people, does a magazine have the right to publish an article telling its readers how to build an atomic bomb? How many people said a magazine has the right to publish an article telling its readers how to build the atom bomb? I don't think that's a good idea. There are just too many people around that if they did get that idea, I think we'd have hundreds of them trying to make an atomic bomb, and maybe 10 out of them would, and it would be a big threat. So I'm going to say um, that it's going to be low. I'm going to say about 20 people. Well, he says 20 out of 100 say, yes, the people of the magazine has the right to publish such an article. Well, Jim, I'm retired, and I watch a lot of television, 
And I've heard on television where you can go to the library and get anything you need to build an atomic bomb. So I'm going to say, I know a lot of people that's built them because I've heard them say on television that's what they said. So I believe it's going to be higher than You're that. You say higher. I believe higher. Yes, I remember reading and seeing on television the same mm -hmm. thing. Rather frightening. Just go to magazine, go pick up and learn how to do it. Wow. Pauline says 20. Higher says Jesse. But the actual number of people who said a magazine has the right to publish an article telling how to build an atomic bomb is 20 right on the money. Pauline, you've got it. Right smack on the money. Pauline, okay, sudden now, death. Since I you need on three that. cards. Jesse with a nine needs three cards. You have control. Play it or pass I'm gonna, it. I'm going to pass it. You're going to pass, pass it. it. Jesse, you have a nine. Of course, you didn't win the question. You must play it. And you, if you can turn them all over, you win. But one mistake. The game belongs to Pauline with a nine. What do you say? It's Pauline. He says lower. No, it's not. A one goes to Pauline, the challenger, with $100. So the challenger took control and won game one. We'll be back with game two in a moment right after this. This week in game show history, The Price is Right celebrates its 60th birthday. NBC launches the original iconic game show with announcer Don Pardo and host Bill Cullen. Its original contestants row consisted of four players in an auction-style format. Early prizes included a Ferris wheel, a full-grown St. Bernard, and a house. 1972 saw the reboot with host Bob Barker in the iconic format known today. And contestants have been coming on down for over 60 years. My moderate to severe ulcerative colitis symptoms kept me out of the picture. Now I have Sky Rizzy. Keeping my plans, I'm feeling free. Control of my you see means everything to me. Control is everything to me. Now I'm back in the picture. Sky Rizzy helps deliver relief, repair, and remission in UC. Feel significant symptom relief at four weeks, including fewer bowel movements and less bleeding. Skyrizzy is proven to help visibly repair colon lining damage and help people achieve remission at 12 weeks and one year. Don't use if allergic. Serious allergic reactions, increased infections, or lower ability to fight that may occur. Before treatment, get checked for infections and TB. Tell your doctor about any flu-like symptoms or vaccines. Liver problems leading to hospitalization may occur when treated for UC. Take control of your UC. your gastroenterologist about Sky Rizzi. So it's game one of the challenger. Janice will deal out the same two decks of cards, and we'll start game two. And now, Jesse, you need this game. And we start game two with a question to you, Jesse. Jesse, we asked 100 women, when you see a picture of a nude man in a magazine, do you usually think he looks sexy or silly? How many women think pictures of nude men Nude men <laughs> look silly. Well, my wife. Great pause my, on my, that one, wasn't wife, there? <laughs> my wife wouldn't wouldn't look at anything like that. So I don't know about the majority of the women. You say look silly. Yes. How many think it would look silly rather than sexy? A nude man in a magazine. I'd say 35. 35 out of 100 say a nude man looks silly, Pauline. Personally, I think they look sexy, and I think most of my friends would agree. I I don't think they look silly. I'm going to say it's to be higher, much higher, <laughs> much higher. No, how many think the nude men look silly? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. He said 35 to say they look silly. I'm sorry, I'd say lower. Oh, that's okay. Lower. I gotta, you so say that like... Sorry, I got so excited when you said sexy nude I men. I was say, do you, do you subscribe to any of those magazines? No, but it, when I'm in the store, and I sometimes peek from the corner. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't let anybody see me. Jesse says 35. Paulie says lower. The actual number of women who think pictures of nude men look silly is 59. Oh. More say silly. Jesse. Well, Jesse starts. Do you think they're silly or sexy, Jeff? Oh, sexy. Oh, okay. You're with her then, huh? That's interesting. The women say sexy. Jesse, you start with a three. Good card. Good card. Higher. Higher than a three. An eight. Three. Freezing on that middle card. Jesse needs has, takes a one-card advantage. Question to you, Pauline. Pauline, we asked 106th grade boys. Has a little girl ever broken your heart? How many sixth grade boys said a little girl has broken their heart? Well, I have a niece who's a knockout, and she's had boys after her all the time, and she's broken a few hearts, but I'm going to go with about, 
I'm going to say about 30. 30 out of 100 sixth grade boys said a little girl has broken their heart, Jesse. Well, a little boy's heart is hard, is easy to broke, but it mends mighty fast. So I'm going to say it'd be a little higher. A little higher than that. Yeah, they mend fast, but it'll be hard. The actual number of sixth grade boys who said a little girl has broken their heart is 43. Jesse right. is right. It's higher. Right. I hope it mends fast. Change that card, please. Now winning the question, Jesse can change his base card to a four. Good, good change. Good card, good card. Higher. Higher than a four. No. <laughs> Break for Pauline at a free Wait chance okay. at a six. Oh, six. Oh, good cards be with me. Um, I'm going to go higher. Higher than a six. Yes, the cards. I'm going to freeze. Yes, the freeze cards were that. with her. And we have a tie as Janice fills in the spaces. Question three to you, Jesse. Jesse, we asked 100 men, have you ever done something so bad that if you'd been caught, you could have gone to prison? How many men have done something so bad if they'd been caught, they could have gone to prison? Well, I think that's going to be pretty high, Jim, because a lot of guys does things, kind of covers it up. I'm going to say about 60. 60? Yeah. Think it happens, huh? Men get away with a lot of they don't know nothing about. I'm, you know, I'm not going to ask you whether you have or not, Jesse. We'll go right to Pauline. He says 60. I don't think that many men are going to do anything that they're going to get in a, a lot of trouble for. Uh, they maybe sneak around and do a few things, but I, I think it's going to be lower, much you, lower. You say lower. Yeah. The actual number of men who've done something so bad they could have gone to prison is 27. It is lower. Pauline, very much well, lower. Okay, I'm going to change that card. I guess it depends on what you think is bad enough Come to go on, to prison. Four. And Pauline, you got oh, a four. four. Okay. I'm going to go higher. Higher than the four. Oh, no. Again, a two I comes up to hurt it. Pauline. Jesse with a four. Higher. Higher, he says. Higher it is. Three. One card advantage for Jesse. We're just creeping along slowly, but we're going to stop creeping right here because, again, we're at sudden death. Someone has to win it here. Pauline, we asked 100 senior citizen men, do you wish bustles would come back in style? You know what a bustle is? Yes. One of the Little things sticking out? Yeah. Stick out in the back. How many senior citizen men would like it if bustles came back in style? I'm sure they enjoyed that style then, but I think men love to see a woman in a nice dress a straight skirt. I think the bustle hides your figure. So I'm going to say that's going to be low. I don't think they want to see the bustle come back. I'm going to say maybe about 15. 15 out of 100 senior citizen men would like to see the bustle back. Jesse, you're a uh, senior citizen uh, gentleman. I'm, yeah, I'm a senior citizen. Uh, no, men like women like they are, and that's old-fashioned stuff. And there's not many of us around it had even seen bustle in that time, so a lot of them don't even know what it is. So I'm going to say it's lower. Even lower than that? <laughs> <laughs> The actual number of senior citizen men who wish bustles would come back in style is two. You're right, Jesse. It is lower. And Jesse, this time you've got control in sudden death with two cards. Pauline needs three. What are you going to do? Let's let Pauline play. Let's let her play it. Okay. Get them all. You're the champion, Pauline. Higher. Make one mistake. We've got a tie. She says higher. No. We have a tie. Jesse wins it in sudden death. So in both games, control and sudden death turned out to be the difference. Oh, no. And now we set up for the tiebreaker. Three cards up there, three questions here. Good match. I congratulate both of you. Good play. Thank you. Jesse, we start the tiebreaker with a question to you. And Jesse, we asked 100 psychiatrists. Generally speaking, if a couple is married 10 years, is it reasonable for them to expect their marriage to have just as much passion as it did when they were newlyweds? How many psychiatrists said a couple should expect just as much passion after 10 years? Oh, they should. 10 years, well, you, you generally a couple get married when they're along about 20 and about 30. And according to the athletes, all I can find out from your strength grows until you get about 30 and then it starts to decrease. So they're still just in the prime of their life. I'm going to say that to be about 60. 60 out of 100 psychiatrists said a couple should expect as much passion after 10 years. Okay, I think a marriage is what you make of it. And if you have a good marriage, you love each other, there's just going to be just as much passion then as when you first got married. So I'm going to say it's going to be higher. Even higher than that? Yeah. Interesting thinking with this one. The actual number of psychiatrists who said a couple should expect just as much passion after 10 years is 16. Oh, you were both way off, but Jesse gets it. He's lower. <laughs> way down there. Jesse, you start the tiebreaker with a six. Oh, change that card, Jim. Winning the question, you can change it. Another oh. six. Higher. Higher than the six. A queen. Lower. Lower. The championship lower. Yes. <laughs> Close match. Bless you. And Pauline, Thank congratulations you. to you. It was a you real $100 in cash Thank and some you. nice party gifts. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, you, Pauline. Much. Pauline Polis. And Jesse, come on down here with me. Jesse Bowen. Good to be here. You like that, huh? Yeah.
Listen, that 200 for the game gets you up to a nice round $5,000 in cash, Jesse. Don't make it sound so big, Jim. I don't want to have a heart attack. Oh, all right. Jesse's going for more right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> right on, yeah. <laughs> for it and we got it more matches than you can shake a blank at show us your garter belt a full throttle three-hour block of match day match day match day uh -huh. weekdays at five on buzzer let's play i'm the president of the united states finish this with one phone call no streaming free all month long only on zumo play Frank Oregon, the Secret Service agent? Yeah. You were JFK's favorite agent, the best and the brightest. Who the hell is this? Looks to King Frank. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. Who is this man? The FBI is withholding the identity of the assassin who fled captivity last night in a daring escape. America's most wanted. Streaming free all month long, only on Zumo Play. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. Don't miss the all new Zumo Original 12 to midnight, streaming only on Zumo Play. The legend continues with two new Doc Holiday movies. So what is it that you need from me? I need someone who knows their way around. Witness the journey from gunslinger to legend in three thrilling chapters. And they're all streaming free. So it's been a bit since I've been in this situation. Stream all three Zumo original Doc Holiday movies free only on Zumo Play. Back with our champion, Jesse Bowen. You cut the money card? Yes, sir. Come on, Jess. Let's do it again and maybe do even better. Let's get up there for the money card. Hey, You're a hey. nice man. Love to see you win a bundle, Jesse. Thank you. I hope so. And Janice and Melinda will start dealing them out as we give you $200 of new money on the bottom line and three cards to bet as you will. Move up to the second level. We add another $200 of betting money and three more cards. Minimum bets, remember, $50 till you get to the top card, the big bet, where you must risk at least half the money. Good luck, Jesse. Thank you. And here's $200. You can change the base card you know on each level. Thank you, Melinda. We'll start Jesse with $200. And? And Hey, ace. high card, good! All of it lower! All of it. All of if it this lower. card is lower than the ace, it is. Hey, good card, good card! All of it higher! What are you going to bet yeah, all of it for? Is he right? Double? Yes! Hey! Seven for 800. Good thought. 50 higher. Minimum bet on 50 that high. card is near the middle. $50 higher. Yay! Right again. 850 yeah. on the bottom level. When we move up to 10, we give you the other 200. Jesse, you've got 1250. Do you want Change that card, please. All right, let's see if we can get you a good one. You must play this one. Oh, oh hey, right up the middle. All right. $50 lower. $50 lower. I don't see many high cars, but he says lower. Is he right? Yes, he is. Good three. card. Good card. You have eleven hundred. Seven hundred higher. Seven hundred dollars higher than a three. Yes, yeah. the race. Good. All on it lower. All on double it lower. Nothing. Trying to double eighteen hundred lower. He yeah. did. Thirty-six hundred dollars up goes the jack. Do you want that card, Jesse? Ah, uh, I'm gonna change it. I haven't seen a king yet. Haven't seen a king. Boy, that would be nice to see one now for the big bet. Jesse will play. Uh, oh, okay. Near the middle. Okay. Jesse, you must bet at least 1800 You have a seven and 3600 What's your big bet? Bet, bet 2000 higher. 2000 on the... Higher. Oh, you're near the middle. That is a very big bet, Jesse. I haven't I... seen a king, Jim. All right, I hope... Let's see one now. Come on. He says 2000 and he says higher. No. Okay. I really thought you were taking a chance with that middle card, but nonetheless, you held back well, 1600 200 in the game. That's $1,800, and that's not bad. I had to bet 800 1800 anyway. You might as well round it off to 2000 right? Right, right? It was a tough card. 
Well, I'm glad you didn't bet any more than that because 1800 is not too bad. And Jesse Bowen, it gets you up to $6,600 in cash for our retired gentleman. And we'll be back with a new challenger in a moment right after this. Are you ready? You ready to play? Survey set. <laughs> Three, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. 20,000. That's a lot of money we're playing for. Go. All right. Big box. <laughs> yes. Ha. Stop. Kelly. Kelly ho. <laughs> Let's play. Who is this man? The FBI is withholding the identity of the assassin who fled captivity last night in a daring escape. America's most wanted. Streaming free all month long, only on Zumo Play. <laughs> Don't miss the all new Zumo Original 12 to Midnight, streaming only on Zumo Play. Frank Oregon, the Secret Service agent? Yeah. You were JFK's favorite agent? The best and the brightest? Who the hell is this? Looks to King Frank. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. I'm the President of the United States. Finish this with one phone call! No. This is only Air Force One Frank Clark! Streaming free all month long, only on Zumo Play. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. Where's it in? We need no blood left to be spilled. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. The legend continues with two new Doc Holliday movies. So what is it that you need from me? I need someone who knows their way around. Witness the journey from gunslinger to legend in three thrilling chapters. And they're all streaming free. That has been a bit since I've been in this situation. Stream all three Zumo original Doc Holliday movies free only on Zumo Play. Deck the halls with Holiday Hub. Movies waiting for you to love. We're gearing up for holiday cheer. Romance and laughter all right here. Stream free movies the whole night long. Endless choices, you can't go wrong. With Holiday Hub, it's a season of joy. Originals, exclusives, fun to enjoy. On the Holiday Hub with Zumo Play. This holiday season on Zumo Play. Who is this man? The FBI is withholding the identity of the assassin who fled captivity last night in a daring escape. America's most wanted. Streaming free all month long, only on Zumo Play. We are back with our champion, Jesse. Now you said, you're such a nice man. Jesse told me during the break, he said, well, now I've won some money, let somebody else have a chance. No, no, listen, you can go up to those money cards seven times. Don't be a nice guy, take all you can get, Jess. I don't like to be a hog, but as you say, if be, I'll play my best, I won't throw all. Go on it, be but a hog. But I hope she wins. No. Oh. Be a hog, Jess. Oh, no, not me. Be a hog, you're a good player, you're a very nice gentleman. Okay, Jesse, Janice deals out two brand new decks of cards, here comes a new challenger on Card Sharks. Jana Crucian. Hello, Jana. Nice to meet you. You've met Jesse? Yes. Well, won't you tell yes. us about yourself? Okay, my name is Jana Grushin. I was born and raised in California. I've been married two and a half years, and I have a job I've dreamed of having all my life, and it's being a full-time mother to a little two-year-old girl. Well, that sounds I very love it. nice. I'm glad you're, <laughs> glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for having you here it. with the Janet. Hope you're going to have a good time with her. Thanks. You cut the cards? Yes. Then here we go. We'll start the match with a question, as always, to the champion. And Jesse, that's you. Jesse, we asked 100 bachelors. 
If the only way you could keep the woman you love from leaving you was to get down on your knees and beg her to stay, would you do it? How many bachelors would get down on their knees and beg her to stay? Well, I'm not a bachelor, but I'm a married man, and I'd do anything. On my knees, I'd lay down on my tummy to get my wife to stay with me. So I think that's going to be a pretty high number. I'm going to say about 70. Jesse says 70 out of 100. Jana, what do you think? Oh, I think any bachelor would go to any extent to keep the woman they love. I'd say it's higher than that. Even higher than that. Higher than that. The actual number of bachelors who would get down on their knees and beg the woman they love to stay is 44. It is not higher. Jesse. Jesse, I, I get the feeling from that you're the only ones going to be crawling around down there. Just 44. <laughs> Jesse starts off with a 10. Oh, no. Let's change that card, please. And he can change it to a jack. That's a little, a little better. better. A little better. Lower. Lower than the jack. No. no. You were looking for over there, Jesse. There you go. Jana with a free chance at a jack oh, as well. Oh, lower, lower. Lower than the jack. A ten. Oh, um, three. <laughs> three. Jana three. with a one card. Of, I forgot the word for a moment there, I Jana. I want to go higher, but... <laughs> Let's quickly get into another question. <laughs> Janet, we asked 100 Sunday school teachers, do you think rock and roll music is sinful? How many Sunday school teachers think rock and roll music is sinful? Well, my husband's going to be a Sunday school teacher. He just signed up to be one, and I think... A, I think that's a pretty high number because when you're in, a lot of Sunday school teachers think that rock and roll music is pretty sinful sometimes. So I would say that's about 65. 65. Higher or lower, Jesse? Jim, I know nowadays they have dances in the basement of the churches and one thing or another, so I think it's going to be a little higher you, than that. Even more? You think more yeah. will feel it's sinful? No, no, lower than that. Oh, oh no, lower than lower. that. Lower? Oh. Yeah. Don't, you don't, don't think they'll find no. it sinful? The actual number of Sunday school teachers who think rock and roll music is sinful is 29. Very much lower. Jesse, you've got it. Good deal, good deal. Jesse, you have a jack. I'm going to go low. You going to play that jack? I'm going to play that jack and go low. And it's lower? It is lower. High. I'm going to go high. Risking it higher. A six. Three. Now as we move over the freeze bar, Jesse needs two cards, Jana needs three cards, and we need to take time out for this commercial break. <laughs> Dancing Drake. Let's take a look at two more parts of our puzzle. Here's the puzzle. Ready to play? I'm the President of the United States. Finish this with one phone call! No. This is the Air Force One Streaming free all month long. Only on Zumo Play. It when there's no blood left to be spilled. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. Streaming free all month long on Zumo Play. Who is this man? The FBI is withholding the identity of the assassin who fled captivity last night in a daring escape. America's most wanted. Streaming free all month long, only on Zumo Play. Deck the halls with Holiday Hub. Movies waiting for you to love. We're gearing up for holiday cheer. Romance and laughter all right here. Stream free movies the whole night long. Endless choices, you can't go wrong. With Holiday Hub, it's a season of joy. Originals, exclusives, fun to enjoy. On the Holiday Hub with Zumo Play. This holiday season on Zumo Play. The legend continues with two new Doc Holiday movies. So what is it that you need from me? I need someone who knows their way around. Witness the journey from gunslinger to legend in three thrilling chapters. And they're all streaming free. That has been a bit since I've been in this situation. Stream all three Zumo original Doc Holiday movies free only on Zumo Play. We have people visiting us in the studio audience today, all the way from my mother's hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, and as far away as Glasgow, Scotland. Love to have you join us sometime, and we'll hope you'll join us next time on Card Sharks. Bye bye. <laughs>
A representative of the studio audience will receive a Helbros Quartz watch for beauty and accuracy. For her or for him, the watch with a classic look furnished by Helbros. And some of our contestants will receive a bakeware set and Campbell's Chunky Soup made for people who want more than soup. Chunk after chunk of delicious food is more like a meal than a soup. A tote and Unicap M from Upjohn contains 11 essential vitamins and 6 key minerals including iron and zinc. Unicap M because you need minerals too. A waffle iron and Staley syrup, the all-natural syrup. No preservatives, nothing artificial. Staley syrup with a rich country maple flavor that naturally tastes better. A gift pack and flame glow. Innovative cosmetics for today's young woman. Flame Glow has beautiful lip colors, soft blushes, and creamy cosmetic pencils for lips and eyes. A shaving kit and sensational tannery safely cleans conditions, helps protect leather or vinyl. Shoes, boots, purses, furniture, car tops, and interiors. Tannery helps them last longer. Mark Goodson, Bill Tudman Production. <laughs> Questions to answer. Cards to call. Make the right decisions and you'll win it all on Cut Sharks. And here's the host of Cut Sharks. Jim Perry! Well, I got you running, Jack. Hello there, welcome to Card Shark. Nice to have you with us in the studio audience. Thank you.